Hey YouTubers, thought I'd make a video of my new vacuum. This is a brand new Eureka Rally 2 canister vacuum. It's pretty generic, but it's what I needed, and so I got it. Paid $48.99 at it for it at Walmart last night, and so far it's pretty good. It seems to be made pretty well. The important part is uh, metal. It's got, ooh, I don't want to knock that over. It's got a telescoping wand. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. It telescopes out like that. And then you can just put it back in. And this is the floor tool. It's pretty good. It works well. It's got like um, rubberized wheels so it doesn't scratch. And then it's got this thing that you push these little bristles come out and this little squeegee for doing bare floors but I find that it works better with the bristles down so that the dirt fits under the head but I like this cleaner it works pretty good it works really good I bought it to use on my to do all my above floor cleaning and the bare floors and it does a good job some of the features I really like about it are it has a cord re uh, rewinder the cord isn't very long but you know, at least it has the cord rewinder. And I also really like that it has this little hook right here on the back to set the nozzle when you're done. Which is cool. Then when you get ready to use it, you just extend this all the way up. And you're ready to go. It has a suction release valve right here. If you're doing, like, drapes or something. And this swivels all the way around. What I like about this is it uses a bag. Um, I had a Kenmore canister, a little one that I bought, and I hated it because it was bagless, and every time you used it, the filter would clog, and you'd have to clean it, and it wouldn't have any suction, so I'd be cleaning, and halfway through, I'd have to clean the filter, and it was a pain in the butt because it was paper pleated, and it just never had suction, so I got rid of that, and I bought this, and I love it. I've been using it ever since, so I'll show you the inside. It takes a Eureka style tea bags, which I was reading a review, a review on Walmart.com and someone said they couldn't find the bags, but my Walmart sells them, so that's not an issue with me. It's a pretty cool little setup. This whole entire thing lifts out like this. And then you just slide the bag off of here and then you put the new bag on this little thing. And then you just slide it back down into the machine. Like, let's see if I can do this one hand. It's kind of hard to get the bag in there, but it's a little thing that slides in and the whole thing just goes in like that. And then you just shut the lid. It has a bag indicator, which actually really works because I've had this cleaner for two days now and I've been using it to do all the vacuuming and the bag's mm, not even a quarter of the way full and it just shows a tiny bit of red. So I know it's working. And it's got the cord retractor right here and the on-off button right here. And what's really cool is it has a has a filter right here. It's not a HEPA filter. It's just a sponge filter, but at least it's something. I don't really care. And what's cool is the more expensive Kenmore that I bought about two years ago, uh, the bottom of it was all plastic and it scratched the floor. These wheels on this, this is a $48 machine. And it has rubber wheels, all four of them. Even this little thing is made of rubber. Right here, this little wheel. And on the Kenmore, they were all plastic. And even the wheels on the little floor tool are rubber. So, just goes to show you, just because you're getting something more expensive doesn't always mean it's better. You just have to know what you're looking for. So, so far I'm really happy with this. It's a, a, all around just a, a good little little canister vacuum for quick pickups and even everyday use, like I use it. It also has a little combination tool, which is cool. If you have it like this, it's a crevice tool, and I've actually used this. It works good. And then you flip this up, and it seems like it's kind of cheap, but it actually works really well. You can see there's dust on it. I use it to clean the air conditioning vents in our house, and it worked really good. So I like this little tool. And it just has its little 
home right in there. It's kind of hard to get back in there, but, you know, I think it goes this way. Yeah. So it clips in there so it won't fall out. So yeah. So now what I'll do is I'll plug it in and I'll put down some stuff. This is instant mashed potatoes. I'll back it up for y'all so you can see how it works. So if you're looking for a, a cheap little canister vacuum to do bare floors and above floor cleaning, I would highly recommend this over the, the small Kenmore product. The cord isn't very long. It's actually really short. But if it bothers you that much, you can get an extension. So, plug it in. And of course, my luck, it would be on when I started the video. So, we'll hook our wand right here. And we'll put down the this stuff, the vacuum up, it's quite a bit of stuff, so and I'll show you the bag indicator and then we'll go. On the video, it doesn't look like I did a really good job, but uh, it actually did. I just had to pick up the nozzle because I put it in such a tall pile that it wouldn't really fit under the nozzle. But when I picked up the nozzle, it sucked everything in. This thing has a crap load of suction, and the bag is actually pretty full since they're not very big, and I haven't lost any suction yet. This thing just has constant suction all the time, and I'll demonstrate that. Anyway, this thing has a ton of suction. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I can't believe such a little cleaner made by Eureka for $48 has this much suction. This has more suction than my full-size Kenmore canister vac did. I mean, as you can see, I had it sucked to my hand and I was rapidly shaking my hand and it wouldn't fall off. It has just unbelievable suction. So, yeah. I would uh, highly recommend this product. Anyway, that is the Eureka Rally 2. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTubers. Thought I'd make a video of my new vacuum. This is a brand new Eureka Rally 2 canister vacuum. It's pretty generic, but it's what I needed, and so I got it. Paid $48.99 at it for it at Walmart last night. And so far it's pretty good seems to be made pretty well. The important part is uh, metal. It's got, ooh, I don't want to knock that over. It's got a telescoping wand. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. It telescopes out like that. And you can just put it back in. And this is the floor tool. It's pretty good. 